It's a Labor Day celebration, Caribbean style. The 46th annual West Indian Day Parade in New York City. A carnival of color, music, and costume. Dion Roman, a Caribbean native, lives across the street. It's just a short step out her front door to watch the festivities. It is important because we do not want this culture to die. If we give up the culture, we die, and we want this culture to continue in this country here. Hundreds of thousands of people lined the streets here in Brooklyn to see the West Indian Day Parade. Now, they're here to celebrate Caribbean culture, but the real star of the parade are the costumes. Some people spend months preparing for this event, making the costumes by hand, many of them not leaving much to the imagination. While the parade route is filled with participants and watchers, Vendors selling food and other items with Caribbean flair pack the side streets. Event officials say the five-day festivities leading up to and including the Labor Day Parade pumps hundreds of thousands of dollars into the local economy. This culture brings in a lot of revenue in this, in this neighborhood because with all the different people that fly in and the people that different hotels and rental cars, it's a lot of money making for the city. The parade also brings with it a huge police presence here. More than 1,000 officers were on hand. Over the years, the celebration has been overshadowed by a number of shootings and stabbings. Stuff's been happening for a few years, and they're here for a reason, for the safety of the people, and it's what it is, dude. But for most everyone here, the Labor Day tradition is all about having fun and letting loose. Juan Carlos Molina, Al Jazeera, New York.